this object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. We don't see that in our solar system. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this. October 29, 2025. Mark that date on your calendar. Because on that day, an object from beyond our solar system will make its closest approach to our sun. It's called 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever confirmed by humanity, a traveler from a distant, unknown star. On October 29th, it will reach perihelion, the tightest point in its blistering journey around our star. But that's not the strangest part. In fact, on that exact day, 3i Atlas will perform a celestial magic trick. It will align perfectly with the Earth and the Sun. For a brief, critical moment, it will disappear from our view, hidden in the blinding glare of our own star. A cosmic coincidence? Or a perfectly calculated maneuver? Scientists are scrambling for answers, because the first pieces of data we received are unlike anything they've ever seen. The first major clues arrived between August 8th and 12th of this year. At the time, Atlas was still far out, that's more than three times Earth's distance. Astronomers were looking for the classic signs of a comet, water vapor, carbon monoxide, the usual outgassing from a dirty snowball warming up. But they found nothing. No water. Not a single trace. Instead, using specific infrared wavelengths of 3.0, 4.26 and 4.7 micrometers, they found something else. Something massive. A colossal cloud of pure carbon dioxide gas surrounding the object. This cloud is 348,000 kilometers wide. That's nearly the distance from the Earth to the Moon. And it's bleeding into space at an astonishing rate. 70 kilograms of CO2 every single second. Think of it like the weight of a person being vaporized into space every second. But here is the paradox. This level of outgassing should be violent, tearing a normal comet apart. Yet, Calculations show that for a rocky body about 46 kilometers wide, this activity would only shave off a one millimeter layer from its surface over 10 years. It's not breaking apart, it's shedding, delicately, precisely. So what is this thing? A bizarre, waterless object from another star? Or is it something else entirely? The evidence is building and is pointing to a conclusion so strained, so profound, that the scientific community is holding its breath. Because 3, I Atlas isn't just passing by. It's acting like it knows we are watching. Let's go back to that date. October 29th, 2025. This isn't just a day on the calendar. It's beginning to look like a rendezvous. Every object that loops around our sun has a perihelion. It's the point of maximum speed, maximum heat, maximum stress. A moment of truth for any comet or asteroid. But for 3 I Atlas, it's also a moment of perfect concealment. Think about it. Of all the points in its orbit, it achieves this peak activity at the exact time it aligns with the Sun from our point of view. It's a galactic-scale chess move, positioning itself in a place where our most powerful telescopes on Earth are temporarily blinded. Right when we want to see it most clearly. Is a coincidence? Statistically, it's possible. But the odds are long. Especially when you consider the rest of its behavior. Because with each passing day, with every new observation, 3i Atlas's trajectory grows stranger. The more data we feed into our computers, the less it behaves like a random object tumbling through space. Natural objects are messy. They are slaves to gravity, pulled and nudge in predictable ways. But Atlas's path feels clean. It feels economical almost as if it's correcting its own course. This raises a deeply unsettling question. Are we simply observing a rock? Or are we tracking a pilot? The path it's taking is the first piece of the puzzle. The second piece is what this object is made of, or more importantly, what it's not made of. That brings us to the data from the Sphere X mission. Between August 8th and 12th, the Space Telescope stared at 3i Atlas. It was a faint point of light, but Sphere X sees an infrared, it can detect the chemical fingerprints of gas and dust. Scientists were looking for the most common chemical in the universe. Water. A comet is essentially a dirty snowball. As it gets closer to the sun, the ice turns to gas, 
creating a halo in the tail. This is Comets 101, but Atlas failed the test. Spherex found no water. Zero, a negligible amount. This object, bigger than a city, has no significant water ice on its surface. So what did Spherex find? Using its detectors tuned the wavelengths of 3.0, 4.26, and 4.7 micrometers, it found a ghost, a vast, invisible cloud of carbon dioxide, a halo stretching 348,000 kilometers across. That a cloud so big, it would dwarf the planet Jupiter, and it's gushing from the object at a rate of 70 kilograms per second. Imagine a grand piano's worth of material being converted into gas and blasted into space every 10 seconds. This is where the story gets truly strange. Based on this outgassing, scientists calculated the size of the solid body at its center. Their estimate, a rocky object, 46 kilometers in diameter. But here's the kicker. The outgassing is incredibly gentle. It's not a violent chaotic eruption like you'd see on a normal comet. The process is so efficient, so controlled, that it would only erode one millimeter of the object's surface over a decade. It's not breaking up. It's not melting. It's venting pure CO2 with baffling precision. No water. A massive, controlled CO2 cloud. A trajectory that seems engineered. The pieces don't fit any known natural phenomenon. It's not a comet. It's not a typical asteroid. It's something new and it forced the world's two greatest observatories to stop what they were doing and turn their eyes toward a visitor. When the data is this strange, you call on the heavyweights, Hubble, and the James Webb Space Telescope. For the first time in history, humanity's two greatest eyes in the cosmos were directed to work in tandem. Their target, the same interstellar visitor. Their mission, get the ground truth. On August 6, 2025, JWST locked on. As the most powerful infrared observatory ever built, its job was to dissect the object's chemical soul, to look past the CO2 cloud and analyze the light reflecting from the solid surface beneath. Is it rock? Is it metal? Are there complex organic molecules? JWST was built to answer these exact questions. At the same time, the legendary Hubble Space Telescope aimed its own optics. Hubble sees invisible and ultraviolet light. Its role was to study the physics of the object, to analyze the dust particles, to measure the exact color of the surface, to watch for any changes in brightness that might reveal its shape and rotation. One telescope for the chemistry, the other for the physics, a complete diagnostic workup on a visitor from another star. And here is the most critical part of this story. Those observations have already happened the data is here, on Earth, right now. There are over 40 gigabytes of raw spectral data from JWST sitting on a server, a digital treasure chest that almost certainly contains the answers we are looking for. The chemical composition, the surface details, the key to understanding what 3i Atlas truly is. But we can't see it. The entire data set is under a strict three-month embargo this is standard procedure, giving the original science team the first chance to analyze their prize. But with Atlas hurtling toward the sun, these three months feel like an eternity. The truth has been captured. It's sitting in a file under digital lock and key. While we wait, the object itself isn't waiting for us. It's getting closer and faster. So let's talk about that trajectory right now. 3i Atlas is moving at 152,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to cross the entire United States in just over a minute. It's currently about 3 Australian dollars and 80 cents of the sun, but closing the distance rapidly, its itinerary for the coming months is precise. On October 3rd, it will make a close encounter with Mars. Just 26 days later, on October 29th, it hits perihelion, its tightest turn around the sun, then, in December, it makes its closest approach to us, planet Earth. Mars, Sun, Earth, it's a grand tour of the inner solar system. But it's how it's making this tour that has astronomers stunned. First, Atlas is in a retrograde orbit. That means it's traveling against the flow of traffic. Everything in our solar system, all the planets, mostly asteroids, orbits the Sun in the same direction. Atlas is going the wrong way down the highway. But that's not even the strangest part. 
Its orbit is almost perfectly flat. It is aligned with the orbital plane of Earth and the other planets, known as ecliptic. The deviation is less than 5 degrees. The statistical probability of an interstellar object arriving on a retrograde path, yet matching our solar system's flat plane so perfectly, is just 0.2%. Think about that. It's not just driving the wrong way down the highway. It's doing it perfectly in the center of the lane. This isn't a random tumble through the cosmos. This is a trajectory of impossible precision. It's a flight path that seems deliberately chosen to interact with and observe multiple planets in our system. Which begs a question, what is it looking for? This trajectory, this grand tour, has led some scientists to a startling hypothesis. The object isn't just passing through. It's conducting a planetary survey. First Mars, then Earth. Later, it will swing past Venus and eventually Jupiter. It's visiting the most interesting worlds in our solar system. This presents an incredible, fleeting opportunity. We have our own robotic emissaries in place. At Mars, the MAVEN spacecraft is in orbit. As Atlas flies by on October 3rd, there are proposals to retask MAVEN, to turn its sensors away from Mars and toward the interstellar visitor. It would be a priceless second angle on the object. Farther out, at Jupiter, waits the Juno spacecraft. Juno is our only long-range asset capable of getting another look as Atlas departs. But this is a long shot. Juno is aging, it has suffered engine malfunctions, and is running dangerously low on fuel. Attempting to pivot and observe Atlas would be a high risk, maybe even impossible maneuver. Our robotic eyes are in the right place, but they are old, and the encounter will be brief. We have to get this right, because the clock is running out, not just for our probes, but for us. This is the fundamental problem. Three eye Atlas is in stay. By early 2026, it will be moving away from us so fast that it will become too faint to see with even our best telescopes. The window for close-up observation is closing, and it may never open again. Let's put this into perspective. Based on its size and trajectory, scientists estimate an object like 3i Atlas, around 20 kilometers wide, enters our solar system only once every 50,000 years. This isn't a once-in-a-lifetime event. This is a once-in-the-history-of-human-civilization event. The last time an object like this may have visited, our ancestors were painting on cave walls. We are the generation that happens to be here when it returns. And we are the first generation with the technology to see it, to study it, to understand it. We have one chance, a few short months to uncover the true nature of our visitor. So what are we dealing with exactly? What does it mean for something to be an interstellar visitor? To answer that, we have to look back at the first time we met one. For all of human history, we believe we were alone, not just alone in the universe, but that our solar system was an isolated island. Everything orbiting our sun was born here, part of the same family of planets, moons, and asteroids. That all changed in 2017. For the first time, we spot an outsider, an object moving too fast, on a trajectory that could not have originated here. It came from the dark space between the stars. We named it Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor. Oumuamua was small, only about 100 meters long, roughly the size of football field. It was dark, tumbling, and incredibly strange. It shot through our system, gave us a brief, baffling glimpse, and then disappeared forever. It was a ghost. A whisper from the galaxy. 3 I Atlas is not a whisper. It's a roar. Current estimates place its size between 1 and 15 kilometers wide. Let me be clear. This is not another Oumuamua. It is 10 to 100 times larger. If Oumuamua was a speedboat that zipped through our harbor, 3 I Atlas is an aircraft carrier. It's bigger, brighter, and it's exhibiting behaviors even more bizarre than its predecessor. Oumuamua opened the door to a thousand questions. Atlas might just be the answer. To understand 3 I Atlas, you have to understand the mystery of Oumuamua. It wasn't just an interstellar rock. It broke the laws of physics, or at least our understanding of them. As Oumuamua looped around the sun, it did something impossible. It accelerated. It sped up, pushed by a force that we couldn't see. Gravity alone could not explain its change in speed. 
The first explanation was simple, outgassing. A hidden jet of gas, like a tiny rocket engine, was pushing it. But our telescopes, including Hubble, stared at it for hours. They found nothing, no gas, no dust, no tail. It was moving under its own power, with no visible means propulsion. This led to a radical theory, championed by top astronomers at Harvard. What if Oumuamua was a solar sail, an object so incredibly thin and lightweight that was being pushed by the pressure of sunlight itself? This isn't just science fiction. Back in the 1960s, NASA's Echo-1 and Echo-2 balloon satellites were so large and light that solar radiation pressure noticeably altered their orbits. For Oumuamua to be a natural object behaving this way, it would have to be a bizarre, leaf-like shard of frozen nitrogen, something no one has ever seen. But the anomalies didn't stop there. Oumuamua's trajectory was also statistically miraculous. It entered our solar system on a path perfectly aligned with the galactic plane, moving in sync with the average motion of stars in our local neighborhood. The odds of a random object having this precise alignment? One in 250,000. An invisible acceleration. A one in a quarter million trajectory. Oumuamua wasn't just a visitor. It was a puzzle box that left scientists arguing for years. And now, here comes 3i Atlas. It's 100 times bigger. It's not accelerating like a Muamua, but has its own set of unique, baffling behaviors that are just as strange. If not stranger, once is an anomaly, twice might be a pattern. So let's look at the unique behaviors of 3i Atlas. First, it is unbelievably bright. When compared to 2i slash Borisov, the second interstellar object we discovered, Atlas is 251 times more luminous. This isn't just because it's big. It means the surface is highly reflective. It's shining in the sun's light, but it's the dust that tells the strangest story. Comets have tails. The solar wind pushes gas and dust away from the sun, creating a visible trail that always points away from our star. That is the rule. Three, I Atlas breaks the rule. Observations show a significant flow of dust moving sunward against the solar wind. Let me repeat that. Its dust is flowing toward the sun. It's like watching smoke blow back into a fire. It makes no physical sense. There's a faint conventional tail pointing away, but this forward flow is a major unexplained feature, and it gets even stranger. Astronomers have also detected a forward halo, a cloud of dust particles preceding the object along its trajectory. Comets don't do this. They leave debris behind them, not in front of them. This has led to a mind-bending speculation is this forward halo acting as a form of deflector shield? A screen of fine particles, around half a micrometer in size, pushed ahead to clear its path of micrometeoroids as it travels at immense speed. It's a radical idea, but the data is the data. This unique dust signature, combined with brightness, has allowed for revised size estimate. The new number is around 20 kilometers. And remember what that means. A 20-kilometer interstellar object is a 1-inch to 50,000-year event. So let's summarize the case file on 3i Atlas. No water, just a precise jet of pure CO2. A statistically impossible trajectory. Dust that flows the wrong way. A potential shield of debris clearing its path. And a size that makes it a true once-in-a-civilization spectacle. We are left with two possibilities. Either this is a geological freak of nature, an object, so Bizarre rewrites planetary science. Or, it is exactly what it looks like. The final answer may already be here, locked away in those 40 gigabytes of JWST data. When that embargo lifts, we may finally know the truth about the surface of 3i Atlas. Until then, we watch and we wait. The clock continues to tick down to October 29th, 2025. The day it makes its tightest turn, the day it hides from our view, a day that could shape the future of our species. For all of recorded history, humanity has stared up at the stars and asked one question, are we alone? In just a few weeks, an object from those stars will arrive at our doorstep. The real question is, is it bringing an answer? We think 3i Atlas is a one in a million natural wonder or first contact. Let me know your theory in the comments below.